Hi friends, my name is Nandita. I am from Andhra Pradesh. Let us discuss the organisms show variety in cell number, shape and size. Children, how do scientists observe and study the living cells? They use microscopes which magnify objects, stains, dyes are used to color parts of the cell to study the detailed structure. There are millions of living organisms, there are of different shapes and sizes. Their organs also vary in shape, size and number of cells. Let us study about them in detail. First let us discuss the number of cells. Children can you guess the number of cells in a tall tree or in a huge animal like elephant? Yes, the number runs into billions and trillions. Human body has trillions of cells which vary in shapes and sizes. Different groups of cells perform a variety of functions. Organisms made up of more than one cell are called multicellular organisms. The number of cells being less in smaller organisms does not in any way affect the function of the organism. You will be surprised to know that an organism with billions of cells being life has a single cell which is the fertilized egg. The fertilized egg multiplies and the number of cells increase as development proceeds. Organisms are made up of a single cell. The single celled organisms are called as unicellular organisms. A single celled organism performs all the necessary functions that a multicellular organism perform. A single celled organism like amoeba captures and digests the food, respires, excrete and grow and reproduces. Similar functions in multicellular organisms are carried out by groups of cells forming different tissues and these uh, tissues in turn forms as organs and organs together form as an organ system and organ system together form as an organism. In amoeba and other unicellular organisms, flagella are microscopic hair like structures involved in the locomotion of the cell. The word flagella means whip. The flagella have a whip like uh, appearance that helps to propel a cell through the liquid. Some special flagella are used in few organisms as sense organs that can be sensed change in pH and the temperature. Now let us discuss the shape of cells. Children, how do you define the shape of an amoeba in the figure? Yes, you may say that the shape appears irregular. In fact, amoeba has no definite shape unlike other organisms. It keeps on changing its shapes, observe the projections of varying lengths producing out of its body. These are called pedisopodia. You have learnt in class 7, these projections appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feeds. Come to humans like white blood cells in human is an another example of a single cell which changes its shape but while WBC is a cell. Amoeba is a full-fledged organism capable of independent existence. What shape would you accept in organisms with millions of cells? Different cells such as blood cells, muscle cells and nerves of human beings. Different, the different shapes are related to their specific functions generally are noticed as below. Spherical cells. These are round in shape and these are uh, found in red blood cells in human. Spindle shape cells. These are elongated like spindles and these cells we found in muscle cells in humans. Elongated cells. There are branchule like of a tree 
and these cells are uh, found in uh, nerve cells in human some are oral round or spiral and we even these cells can uh, found in human rbc and ovum kidney shaped cells are god cells in leaves some cells keeps on changing their shape the cell and its component are enclosed in a membrane called cell membrane this membranes provide shape to the cell of plants and animals the plant cell have an additional covering over membrane called cell wall the cell wall gives shape and rigidity to the cells now let us discuss the size of cells the size of cells in living organisms may be as small as million millionth of a meter means micrometer or micron or may be la large as few centimeters however most of the cells are microscopic in size and are not visible to the unaided eye they needed to be enlarged or magnified by a microscope the smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria and the largest cell measuring 170 mm to 130 mm and it is the egg of an ostrich most cells range from 5 to 15 micrometers longest cells in human are nerve cells 1 to 2 meters the size of cell is independent on the size of an organisms but depends on its function example nerve cell in both elephant and rat are long and branchy they both perform the same function of transferring messages The size of the cells has no relation with the size of the body of the animal or plant. It is not necessary that the cells in the elephant be much bigger than those in a rat. The size of the cell is related to its function. Now let us discuss the levels of organization. Children you have learned that each living organism has many organs you have studied in class 7 about digestive organs which together constitute the digestive system each organ in the system perform different functions such as digestion assimilation and absorption similarly different organisms of a plant perform specific specialized functions for example root help in the absorption of water and minerals Leaves as you learnt in class 7 are responsible for synthesis of their own food. Each organ is further made up of small parts called tissues. A tissue is a group of similar cells performing a specific function. First realized that an organ is made up of tissues which in turn are made up of cells. The cell in a living organism is the basic structural unit. In unicellular organisms single cell perform all the vital functions in it functions independently whereas multicellular organisms have various levels of organization within them individual cells may perform a specific function or work together as a functional unit for the organisms the cells are dependent on one another Now let us discuss the five levels of organization in multicellular organisms from simplest to most complex. Cell, the fundamental unit of structure and function in living organisms, examples like blood cells, nerve cells, etc. Tissues, tissues a group of cells that have similar structure and function to perform specific activity to form a tissue. Examples are connective tissue, epithelial tissue, muscle tissue, nerve tissue, etc. Organ, a group of tissues which are same at their structure and perform similar activity constitute an organ. Examples are heart, brain, skin, etc. Organ system, many organs together form an organ system. Organs are made up of a group of tissues organize themselves to perform a specific activity for an organism. Examples of this organ systems are circulatory system, nerve system, excretory system, etc. Organism. Aggregation of organ system constitute organism. The humans has 11 organ systems therefore the correct order of level of organization in multicellular organism is cells form as tissues 
tissues form as organs and organs together form as organ systems and organ systems together form as an organism